It's all about shrimps, simply shrimps. Good day everybody and Happy New Year as it is the first uh, video of the new year. And this video was originally going to be me doing a water change on my shrimp rack system. However, in measuring the TDS of this tank here behind my crystal black and my red cherry shrimp, uh, I noticed that it's creeping up to around 230. And I like to keep it anywhere between 100 and 180, halfway between ideally keeping it stable. Stable? Stable. So the fact that it is 230, I thought I'd make a video on showing you how to reduce the TDS of a tank. And it's fairly simple really. All you're going to need is some pure RO water here, or Rio water as it looks like. I tried to do a slash in the middle and it looks like an eye. I did measure the TDS on this and it comes to about 12, which is nice, not too bad. Closer to zero the better, but I can live with 12. So here's the TDS of the RO water, as I said, 12. And here's the TDS of my shrimp tank, so 129, 130-ish. I'm just going to point out that this tank here is roughly 50 litres, uh, so 15, 14 US gallons, and the RO water container up here contains 10 litres of water. So in me doing a water change with pure RO, I'm only actually changing about 20% of the water that's in here. So I do tend to like to do 10 to 15 percent on my shrimp tanks so it's a little bit bigger than normal but hopefully because it's not like a drastic 50 percent water change it's not going to stress the shrimp out too much when lowering the TDS. On we go with the water change I've got the siphon down the back of the HMF filter and I'm going to start the siphon by squeezing the pump. There we go I'd guesstimate that that's about 20% of the tank there. I'm pretty much going to let gravity take its course and do the exact opposite. So in draining the water out of the tank into a bucket to dispose of, I'm now going to drain the RO water out of the RO container and down into the tank. Nice and easy, lemon squeezy. After giving it about half an hour for the water circulation to kind of mix all the new water in, you can see it's fairly stable now, around 180 TDS, which is nice. It's kind of where I wanted it, 180, it's at the top end, so I still want to bring it down a little bit, um, but that will do for now, at least I'm back on top of it. One of the main reasons that your TDS may start climbing is due to evaporation. So say throughout the course of the week your water evaporates maybe 5 mil. It's only the water that's evaporated. All the elements inside have actually stayed so it's a slightly more higher concentration. Uh, so if you're adding the same TDS, say for example, let's keep it simple, you're adding a 200 TDS to what you think is a 200 TDS in your tank and there's been evaporation, then the TDS in the tank may be 210. So then it's just going to get higher and higher concentration of more evaporation over the course of weeks and months. An easy way to help stop this creep happening in the first place is if there has been any evaporation, just add some RO water first before doing your water change. That way the TDS should remain the same throughout the course of the water changes in the future. So that's the end of this video and I hope you found it helpful. It wasn't the video I intended to make today, however, due to circumstances I thought, hey, I'll seize this opportunity and uh, share it with you guys and help you out. So if you did find it helpful, whack that thumbs up, uh, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more content coming out soon. And by the way, what do you think of my new outro coming now? It's all about shrimps, simply shrimps. Let's keep things shrimp simply shrimps. Do 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 do. Yeah!